super crazy. One day we came out and found water all over our counter here. And we're like, what is going on? And we looked all around for uh, different containers and that might have been cracked. And we couldn't figure out the leak because we didn't see anything at the moment that was dripping. Today, we're going to show you how to troubleshoot a reverse osmosis faucet filter system when you get a leak in it. Our issue is right there. <laughs> what are you doing? Good morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> but it all started up top. After a little bit of investigation, we found out that the problem was right down there and that that was actually weeping water uh, in a fairly good amount. Even as I do this now and let a little water, see how the water pours out from there? Well, we didn't see that at first. Turns out that reverse osmosis systems uh, have this hole here as an air gap. If there's a clog, then that's where you're gonna see the issue show up. There's a main cause to a problem like that, and it's all down here. And even though that right there looks right, there's a problem with that. And the leaks out of the weep hole of that filler head are caused by this drain tube. And there's two t things that could go wrong with that. If we remove this hose, you push in on that collar, pull the hose out. And what can happen uh, when water starts weeping out the upper filler head is this ends up getting clogged. So when that gets clogged, that water will start um, backing up in the tube and going out that weep hole or that, that the air hole at the top. But our problem is this, and this is the other thing you have to look at, is this right here somehow had gotten bumped and it's loose. You can see that this, this hole here is supposed to line up with the hole in this pipe and this whole thing right here looks like it's gotten moved. So we're gonna take this apart and reline everything up. This pad should be over here and it's covering over the drain hole that we drilled into this white pipe. So we've got to get that uh, fixed. We'll go ahead and take off these two screws and see if we can, and, uh, see if we can adjust this. All right, so now we can see a little better there. Gasket has slid over the hole and of course clogged it from draining. And that's how it should be, right like that. Once this uh, collar is reattached and the drain hole is lined up with that hole, we want to make sure it stays that way and keep, continues to drain. And this time I'm going to make it a little bit tighter on this so it can't move that. All right, so just put a, I'm just putting a screwdriver in there just to make sure there's no debris. And there's not, it's fine. So now I'm just going to go ahead and reattach this. All right, I went and found a long screw, I'm just trying to align the hole. And that's pretty good right there. So without moving this, we're gonna go ahead and tighten all this up. The adage in plumbing is tight, but not too tight. And maybe I had a little too loose that last time and that's why I did this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tighten this a little further than I might normally because I don't want that to happen again. All right, so that's good and tight on there. We'll check the hole one more time. Yep, I'm in there, no problem. So now the tube is clear. And there's no there's no residue on there, so that's great. So now we just got to bring this hose over and point it right in there. There we go. One thing to remember is this drain tube always has to be going downhill. It can't go, it can't sag low and then up. It has to always have a downhill line to it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see how she works. All right, so I hope that video helps. If you got anything out of it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.